Hello, welcome to this video on building complex architectures by connecting multiple solutions constructs. My name is Biff Gott. I'm a solutions architect with AWS. Now let's get started. A single solutions construct may deploy an impressive list of services, such as the AWS CloudFront S3 construct shown here. But your workloads are almost certainly more complex than any single solutions construct. The real value of solutions constructs is the ability to instantiate multiple constructs in your code and connect them so that each one is just a piece of a more complex architecture, while still enjoying the speed and simplicity that makes solutions constructs so compelling. Let's define a more complicated workload as a demonstration. In this workload, execution is triggered by outside actors saving objects to an S3 bucket. That action triggers a Lambda function that processes the information in the object, stores the result to a DynamoDB table, then publishes a status message over Amazon's simple notification service. Looking at this architecture, we can identify three solutions constructs from the library. The AWS S3 Lambda construct will create an S3 bucket and a Lambda function that is invoked by S3 events. The AWS Lambda DynamoDB construct will create a new DynamoDB table and a Lambda function that can save items to it. The AWS Lambda SNS construct will create a new SNS topic and a Lambda function that can publish messages to that topic. But if we deploy all three of these constructs, we'll deploy three different Lambda functions while our architecture requires a single Lambda function that can perform all three tasks. We need a way to share a single Lambda function between all these constructs. The key to this is sending properties from one pattern when we construct a second pattern. Let's start with connecting the S3 Lambda pattern and the Lambda SNS pattern. The Lambda to SNS props constructor used to define the second pattern has a property called existing Lambda object. You can pass the Lambda function from another pattern as this property value, and the new pattern will use that Lambda function instead of instantiating a new one. This means that the construct will grant the existing Lambda function permission to publish to the new topic instead of creating a new function for that task. Here's how this looks in code. When we instantiate the S3 to Lambda construct, we'll provide Lambda function props that define a new Lambda function. Since this will be the only Lambda function in the architecture, the actual code for this function must perform all three tasks, process the incoming S3 data, store the results to DynamoDB, and publish the message to SNS. Now, if we instantiated the Lambda to SNS construct like this, it would create a second Lambda function, which is not what we want. So we'll replace the Lambda function props with existing Lambda object and we'll set that property to the Lambda function created by the S3 to Lambda construct. That's all there is to it. Just use existing Lambda object to point the Lambda to SNS construct to the Lambda function from the S3 to Lambda construct. Let's look at the actual code in context. Remember, every solutions construct is loaded within a CDK stack. First, we instantiate the S3 to Lambda pattern. This is the pattern that actually creates the Lambda function. So we'll pass Lambda function props that point to the code module. Now for this demo, we're setting the removal policy for our bucket to destroy. So our bucket is removed after the demo. You wouldn't do this for any non-demo stack. Next, we instantiate the Lambda to DynamoDB pattern. Notice that here, we set existing Lambda object to the Lambda function created by the first construct. Finally, we instantiate the Lambda to SNS object. And once again, we send the Lambda function from the first construct to the existing Lambda object property. Here's a stack we built with this code. Let's find the Lambda function we created. First, let's check the environment variables. The last two patterns should have set up environment variables for both the table and the topic. Here's the environment variable for the DynamoDB table name, and environment variables with both the ARN and the name of the SNS topic. Now let's make sure we have the privileges required to access these resources. First, here's all the privileges associated with having right access to the table. Notice the policy explicitly specifies the actions and the table. 
And here's the privilege to publish messages to the topic. Here again, the policy limits the actions and specifies the resource. So the single Lambda function is successfully shared between all three topics. So that's how we can use the existing Lambda object property to share a function resource between three different constructs and create an architecture more complex than we could with any single construct. We've focused on connecting multiple constructs by sharing Lambda functions, but there are actually many different resources you can use to connect two constructs. Here's a list of existing resource properties currently found on solutions constructs in the library that you can use to connect multiple constructs. With the number of ways available to easily link solutions constructs, the architectures you can build are only limited by your imagination. So break out your editor and go build.